Welcome to Living Wise TV. My name is Tosin Ayajayi, your public health specialist, promoting health through healthy eating and lifestyle adjustment. Today, we're going to be starting a new series on losing weight. And I'm going to be sharing with you how we lost 50 pounds in six months without rigorous exercise and how we lowered high blood pressure without any medication. I'm sure you don't want to miss any of the videos in this series. So if you are new to the Living Wise TV or you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscribe button, like, comment, share with your family, with your friends, with your acquaintances, with anyone you feel will benefit from these videos. So I'm putting together these videos in response to the numerous requests I've had about how we got the results we have. And, and I've decided to embark on this mission which I term Operation Healthy Eating and Healthy Living. So if you are still sitting on the fence, I encourage you, come, let us embark on this journey together and make a decision to eat healthy and live healthy. At this point, I'd like to make a disclaimer. Please note, these videos are for educational purposes only. Before you change your diet, or if you need any medical advice, Please seek the services of a professional healthcare practitioner. That being said, let's delve right into the, today's topic. And that is how we lost 50 pounds in six months without rigorous exercise and how we lowered high blood pressure without any medication. You may be wondering what I mean when I say we lost weight. Well, that is my hobby and I when this journey together Actually, I, I'm the one managing him because being the healthcare practitioner, I manage him, but he decided to go on this journey because of all the issues, health issues, you know, that he had. And when we started this, you know, the results that he started experiencing were awesome. So we are on this journey together. He's actually the one that lost 50 pounds in six months and got his high blood pressure lowered without any medication. For me, on my own part, I lost 30 pounds in five months. And also to give you some more clarification about the topic, when I said that, how we lost 50 pounds in six months without any rigorous exercise. Well, just for you to know that, in the past, before this journey began, we were not living a sedentary lifestyle. We had our, our work involved, you know, high physical activity. We were always walking around. So that was the background before this journey began. So, but then that lifestyle as per the physical activity did not change. It was the same physical activity that we were doing before the journey began and when we started this journey and even subsequently. Um, just also for you to know that before now, before we embarked on this journey, on this special, you know, journey, we were always doing rigorous exercises as in, you know, trying to lose weight. We were doing planks, though we did not go to the gym, but we were doing planks and, you know, every other exercise that you can think about. However, unfortunately, we did not even lose 0 0.5 kilograms. However, with this journey and with this um strategy and this plan that we you know we, we started we lost 50 pounds he lost 50 pounds in six months i lost 30 pounds in five months and uh, just sit tight and i'll give you more information about how this went so how did this journey it began when my professor in college when i was in college and who was also my um, mentor when she came visiting, I've not seen her actually in more than 10 years, but she came visiting and she, when she saw us, as in my hobby and I, she was so concerned and she said, oh, Tosin, what's going on? What's going on? How's your health? And she said, um, I'm seeing all the signs associated with the risk factors for chronic diseases. You are overweight. 
um, your waist circumference. Hmm. We had a long talk, and the first thing that we did was to calculate our body mass index as a BMI, and also to determine our body weight status. Can you believe that both of us we were not even overweight? We were obese. Hmm. That was very unbelievable to me. Then also, we calculated what our ideal weight was supposed to be. So that was our target. That was our target weight. So initially, we did our body weight status to know what we were at that point in time. Then also to calculate our ideal weight to know what our target weight, what our goal for the plan was. Actually, I'm going to be sharing with you how we did this in the next video. So you don't want to miss this as in how we calculated our ideal body weight and also how we got our body weight status and that will be in the part two of the series i'll leave a link in the description for you on that now to give you a background of what our health status was like before this journey began my hobby and i have been experiencing some symptoms which we did not attribute to our body weight in any way for my hobby he had been experiencing chronic headaches chronic headaches for such a long time that he was always on analgesics and we attributed it to stress you know he uses analgesics all the time just for the headache on my own part i've been experiencing progressively excruciating body pains and joint pains. The pains were so severe that at times I was limping, at times, you know, at times, really, I cried at times because of the pain. So I was always on analgesics, you know, strong analgesics just for the pains. I attributed the pains to my work because my work involved standing for prolonged periods of time. So I thought it was my work, oh, probably, oh, it's because I was standing for prolonged periods of time, that's why I had the joint pains, or that was why I had the body pains, because usually whenever I, you know, when, when I came back from work and I rested for a bit, the pain subsided. But it got to a, it got to a time when resting did not solve the pains. The pain still continued and I had to, be on analgesics so i was even considering probably i should change my you know i should change my work i did not attribute it to my weight in any way that was what i'm grateful for that so my mentor raised our awareness to the impact that our body weight had on our health and i'm so grateful for this so the next thing we did was to book an appointment to see our family doctor and we did that the next day immediately we just went to see our family doctor and lo and behold, we did you know, a comprehensive um, health assessment. Our doctor gave us the paperwork to get our blood work done. And when the doctor assessed my husband and you know, did his um, blood pressure measurements, it was over the roof. So when our doctor measured my husband, hubby's um, blood pressure, it was more than 180 over 100. Wow. In short, you can imagine where my mind went to. What was this? What is this? You know, he himself too was just, you know, he, 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 he just didn't know what to do. We're at crossroads. And um, subsequently, when we did, you know, we had to be monitoring the blood pressure at home. And we measuring the blood pressure at home. It was fluctuating between 185 to 190 over 105 to 110 so that was we we, we got into you know something like not that she does it like panic mode how that is not surprising that explains the chronic headaches that he has been having for a very long time and you know all the analgesics that he has been using so the doctor was like what are you going to do and um you know, wanted to prescribe medications but i said no hold on we are going on a diet plan and we're starting that immediately so the doctor said okay um i'll give you one month come back to me in one month and i'll assess this again then we'll know where to go from there and that was how we began this journey we went on immediately 
and we changed our diets it was a complete overhaul of our lifestyle our diet our eating pattern even you know had to do some lifestyle changes because now <laughs> it's either he went on medications for throughout his life or we had a lifestyle adjustment it was going to be one of the two and we had decided that no way he doesn't want to take medications so he had to comply we had to go on a lifestyle adjustment so we went on a three month diet plan where we did a complete overhaul of our diets and eating pattern and to let you know that has not changed until today so the strategy was to stop all foods that were detrimental to our health and enhance and eat more of the foods which are beneficial to our health and i'm sure to let you know that that has been so awesome the results have been so amazing i'm going to share more with with you about that in subsequent videos so you want to watch out for the mathematics of losing weight and how we chose our foods amongst other ones. You don't want to miss any of the videos. So a lot of questions that um, you know I people ask me is, oh so see when you're telling us about this, everything looks so easy and smooth sailing. Does it mean that you don't you didn't you know have any challenges or obstacles, you know, when we're doing it this? Hmm. And I tell them, yes, there were a lot of, you know, challenges and obstacles. The very first one was that before my mentor came in, I, you know, I told her that she came to visit. Before she came, I had just done a monthly grocery shopping. I had bought every single thing that I needed, which were full, you know, full of things I'm not, we're not supposed to be eating. So then we had crossroads. What do I do? I have just talked to the house with food that we're not supposed to eat. Well... We had a choice to make. It's either we ate those or we embarked on this new journey, which would lead to, you know, a good health and which was, which, in which we will not have to use medications. My husband would not have to use medications or same here, I would not have to use medications. So we had to choose. It's either of the two. So, of course, we had to go on this new journey because another challenge, which was a big issue for us, was um, our work schedule. If I have to go to work in the morning, you know, I start very early. So how would I do all of this? How would I, you know, the breakfast morning, there's a, there was a certain time that we had to eat. And um, when I work late, I really work late. I come back very late after past midnight. Before, when, whenever I came back from work, you know, around 1 a.m., that was when I eat. We, we eat dinner at 1 a.m. That had to change. So what did I do? We had to incorporate, we had to, you just have to figure it out because this is a matter of life and death. So we just have to figure it out. So we had to, um, you know, change our, you know, our lifestyle. We had to change our eating patterns. We had to change a lot of habits. And we really got this done. If something is at stake, depending on how serious it is, I'm very sure that you will think about it and you will figure it out. So we did, we figured it out. And then we stopped eating. No, we're on this. We stop eating at 7, 7 p.m. If I had to eat, I take my my dinner to work. I eat before 7. Once it's 7 o'clock, it is the end of it. That was the end of it. No more eating after 7 o'clock. I could not believe that we could do this. However, we did successfully. Until today, we are still doing that. So we had no excuse. And the results spoke for themselves. So I'll be discussing this in detail in part four of this series, how we overcame obstacles and challenges and maintain and how we're consistent in maintaining a healthy body weight. So you want to watch out for that video. So we're coming to the end of this video. Um, I'd like to share with you some lessons that we have learned since the beginning of this journey. And the very first one was that we, are, we were unaware that the health issues that we were experiencing were associated with our body weight, which was a result of our previous diet and eating pattern. We attributed it to something else entirely. 
So the second lesson learned is that changing our diets and our eating pattern and maintaining a healthy body weight can resolve most health issues that we have. So one question that I ask myself now if I have a health issue is, what, what am I eating or not eating that is causing this health concern? You know, what I say now is that diet is a new medicine, both for now and the future. And the third lesson learned is, yes, you can by taking one step at a time. Yes, I can. And yes, I did. I did not believe I could do this at the initial stage. When my mentor was talking to me about this, I had roadblocks, quite a lot of walls, you know, set up in my mind, erected in my mind that, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Is this possible? Yes, that was then. Now I see possibilities. I see possibilities. So can you do this? Yes, you can. Just take one step at a time. So we have come to the end of this video. The next one is how we calculated our body mass index, BMI, and confirmed our body weight status, and also how we calculated our ideal weight. You don't want to miss that video. I'll leave a link in the description for you. So if you're new to the Living Wise TV, or you have not yet subscribed, please, Click on the subscribe button, like, share with your family, with your friends, with your acquaintances, with whoever you feel will benefit from these videos. And don't forget, click on the notification bell so you're notified as soon as a new video is available. So until I see you in the next video, note that you are what you eat. You become what you think. Always be wise. Live healthy. Bye.